part two of the Pacific Rim, the $215 buy-in. I don't know if it's a major. I kind of consider it a major. It's like a Saturday, my Saturday night major. It's an Aussie major. All right, you guys, let's jump into the action. Part two coming your way. <laughs> Is this your new schedule, Kappa? Yeah. All right, big paw for always win there. Hello, unknown 4390. Take it down up in Edmonton, grind a late like yourself. Canadian Aces, good luck on the Grizzly tonight, my friend. Good luck on the Grizzly. 14 of 18. The grind is real. We have a lot of similar stacks to us here. A lot of similar stacks to us. We're going to fold the 6 4. 15k, 16k, 17k, 17k, 19k, 20, 24, 27, 28, 33. And then we're getting up into the higher uh, the higher levels. Always win with a pretty big chip lead, 86k. How many times do you bust because of the river card a day? I'm not sure, man. I've, I've honestly never thought about it that way. I don't think it's a very healthy way to think about it. So you raise from Ollie's win and a call from Skill Poker. Okay. 10, 9, 7, all clubs on the flop. Very juicy flop. Lots going on there. Let's see. We see a check. Okay. Skill Poker. Check, check. All right. Deuce of clubs. So the flush gets there, the four flush. All right, and an eight of diamonds on the river. Always win. Bet 6,000. Skill poker. We want to call and lose. We want people to bust the tournament at this point. With us being a 14 of 18. Ace 8 is something we could play in some situations. Sort of depends on how it breaks down. Let's go, Staples. What's up, George Dalton? How you doing, man? Thank you. Sub Staples, how's it going, Liniment? How's it going, man? And we get a fold, which is a little bit surprising from Always Win. Folds around to Hearth Rob 10. And I don't think folding is in our game plan now. If Muji reshoves, we can fold. If Muji calls, we're shoving. Um. We're definitely well ahead of this range, and when they just call here, I don't think they have a hand they're willing to go all in with, unless they're trapping with, like, aces or kings. But other than that, we can pick up a 7.6k pot against a really wide opening range on the button. So this is going to be a shove for me for 18,000. Good luck, us. 25k out there. Hoping to see a fold fold. And we have a tank going on. We get a fold. Action on Muji. Who folds? There we go. We pick it up, you guys. Up to 25k. Back into 11th position. Things are going well. Just woke up after 10 hours of sleep. Was super surprised to see you on. But now I see that we are deep in attorney. Let's ship it. Let's go, Liniment. Let's go, my friend. And Hearth Rope opens again. We're just going to fold the King 3. King was the best card for our opponent. Great card to bluff. It's true. They don't have very many pure bluffs on that card, but uh, it's just a good card for their range. And definitely a good card to bluff, too. Both. 10-7 uh, on the button. Just going to be a fold here. We are sitting on 20 big blinds, 12 of 18. But really, we've hit a new threshold, right? So 18th is 13,000, 16,000, 17,000, 17,000. And then we're sitting up in the mid-20s range. So we're in a sort of different threshold on the leaderboard. I can show you the whole thing here. That's always nice when the whole leaderboard fits onto a page. But we're in a decent position. Hold the 3-8. What's up, Obama Bowl 2K? I don't think I've ever streamed at this exact hour. I don't think I've ever been here. All 
All right. Always win raises. We get a call from Easy Nuts. Dream is live. It's true. The $215 Pacific Rim. Are you playing this tournament because it's soft? Just curious. I was, yeah. I was, so I, was, I just wanted to play, you know, it's a good tournament. Um, I can show you guys the whole lobby here. You can, you know what my normal tags look like? Take a look through this lobby. How many people I know in this tournament? And it's a $215 buy-in. By far the easiest $215 of the week, this specific room. By far. Um, so I was doing some work on the side. I was like, ah, I'll play one table on the side. That's fine. I'm going to be up until this time anyways doing work, so uh, why not? And we ended up going deep. Glad to hear him. Have you ever thought about switching up your day schedule and start streaming at night like you are now? I don't have very much motivation when I start playing at night. Poker is life there. So I'd like to. That would be cool to, to play some night schedule every now and again. But uh, I don't really, uh, I don't do well with with not starting out right at the beginning of the day. Is it really 1.30 a.m. in Calgary? It is 1.30, yes. 6.30 p.m. here, zero dinner time. Good luck with your stream, Jamie. I'll check back later. Sounds good, Troga. Sounds good. As a pro and being so close to money, will you take more than normal in this kind of situation or play normally without thinking about the money and try and get first from It's Daki? I mean, there are times you can use your time bank to your advantage. This is not one of them in that we are three away from the money and we're not in a really like a busting situation. So there's no reason for us to tank in. It's not like we have five big blinds here and there's only two tables as well. So it's very different when there's 20 tables trying to hit the money and there's two tables. It would hypothetically take much longer. So... There's not much use in using your time bank here to try and prolong hands. Not much use. What's up, Winbot? How you doing, man? We are live. It's true. We are live. Thank you all for hanging out. Nice, uh, Vercast. Congrats, man. Still at 18. Still at 18 people. We'll pull up the other table here just for fun. See what's going on down there. Maybe we can pull up interesting hands if they happen. I'm gonna fold the king five, pretty straightforward. Enough chips in the middle to shove in the flop with Queen Jack. Not like he's gonna barrel brick turns with air on too hard flop. I mean, not really. Um, raise a blind. I don't think so. We're we're basically asking ourselves, you know, on on bad turn cards of, of which there's approximately seven left. Uh, you know, is the chance that a bad turn card comes on the turn higher than the chance that we stop them from bluffing on blanks? And it's not true, right? So we have seven outs, 14% an ace or king comes on the turn, 28% an ace or king comes by the river in that hand. Uh, and I don't think that 28% is enough to worry about by the river uh, with our queen jack, especially when the turn is a brick, sometimes they will continue betting. So um, yeah, I disagree, which is why I did it that way. You ever play the Sunday kickoff? I do play it a decent amount. Yeah, I think it's it's one of the best 109s of the week, similar to this tournament. One of the best 109s of the week. I have a super good feeling about this man. I'm sending you good vibes. Thank you, thank you. Nice hand with the ace eight. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. All right, skill poker. Opens it up on the button as I expect they should to these two relatively short stop stacks. Is that Alex Tortorelli? It looks like it, but I don't know if it's the actual Alex Tortorelli or not. We're gonna fold the King 3 suited. Still at 18, we are 23,000, we're in 11th place. There's uh, four stacks at around 11 big blinds. Still need to go to bed. I took a nap that turned more into like a four hour sleep. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit weird, my, my sleep schedule right now. What's the best poker book for the tournaments for intermediate players? I don't know, actually. I don't know. I'm not up to date enough on, on books in poker. Why is it called the Pacific Rim? 
um, because it's like a good time zone for the people that live on the Pacific Rim, you know? So like Asia, Australia, um, the west coast of Canada, U.S., west coast of uh, South America, etc. And we see an open from Rikwa. This is going to be a fold again with the queen four, not the best hand. Open another gun, we're gonna fold. Thank you, Nitska. Thank you, thank you, man. What's up, Carlos? How you doing, man? We were just playing it on the side of some work this tournament, and uh, we've now made a deep run. So, yeah. Bet of 4,600, then raised to 35K from Rikwa. And a call with Ace Deuce. That's going to be GG for a friend Muji. Rikwa takes it down up to 60K. That was an aggressive hand. We are one away from being hand for hand. 7 3 is going to be a fold here. In 12th position now with 20,000. What's up? I'm Mark994. How you doing, man? This pays 15 spots. 15 spots. So we're almost in. Almost made it. Deuce eight of clubs is gonna be a fold. Action on heart rob 10. Looks like is considering something. Our table is way shorter than the other table. The shortest stack on the other table is 17,000 right now. Um, and then everyone else is, is a bigger chip stack than I am. So we have all the short stacks here. We have a raise and a shove. This could be it for one of these guys. We could be down to 16. Good time for the Australians to watch. Yay, what's up, Australians? How you doing? By the way, if you guys like the stream and you want to see me stream again, hit the follow button. I'd love to see you guys come back. What's up, guys? Kings against Ace Nine. Here it is. That's an ace on the turn. GG to F Nickel. GG, my friend. We are down to 16. We are hand for hand, you guys. We're 13 of 16. So we're not in the super nut position. Not the best, but we're doing okay. You know, we're hanging in there. 14 big blinds. It's workable. It is workable. Action on Stir Pinch. Who shoves it in for 13k. This could be it. Folds around to the big blind. Who folds? Stir Pinch takes it down. On to the next hand. We have a new player move in. Jose Molina. Good luck, Jose. We're going to fold the deuce 9. 14 of 16 with 20,000. These are the two shortest stacks in the tournament. 10 and 16. Feeling some red felt hype soon. One person away. One person away. Open to 28-22. What up, Colorado love? Uh, thanks for hanging out. Killer Jamie, I appreciate it. I'm going to do my best. It'll be weirder in Prague, that's for sure. Yeah. So when I'm in Prague, I'll probably start in like at noon in Prague, which is like 4.30 or 4 o'clock, I guess. So it'll be, the stream will move like four hours earlier when I live there, I think. It's my guess for how it'll work. Or maybe I'll just play overnight. I don't know, like everyone seems to do. Like everyone seems to do. We're going to fold. Did it be $215 to enter this tournament? I did. I did. Dav? Yep. 
What's up, Great Bluff? It's actually incorrect. It's called the Pacific Rim because sometimes giant robots like to boot up Poker Stars to play a tournament. Um, all right. All right, then. I haven't seen that movie, but I understand it's a reference to it. <laughs> have you ever played any cash games? Is there any videos of you doing so if you have? Yep. Um, Poker Night in America. I played a live cash game, so you can Google Poker Night in America Jamie Stables, and, and it should pop up with some videos. So you can see that, Punky. Still hand for hand, we have an open from always win and a call from skill poker on the button, all right. What up, Newts97? How you doing, my friend? What up? Heart Rob 10. Action on him. King Jack 7. 10,000 in the middle. This could be a busting hand. Both of our opponents are relatively deep, though, compared. They're in final table positions. Action on skill poker. Just deciding. It's 9.30 a.m. here in Holland. Waking up watching your stream motivates me to play some. So good luck, my friend. Good luck, good luck. Vamos. 4686. Action on heart, Rob. Fold and always win. Fold. All right. Skill poker takes it down up to 48,000. Next hand, we're in the big blind with 6-4. Not going to be a lot we can do with the 6-4. I don't think we can call a shove or a min raise or anything. Only way we see a flop is a limp here. Unless it goes like raise, call, 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 and then we'll, then we'll see the flop. Maybe heart, Rob, just limps. That would be cool. Can I get a whoop, whoop? You got it, man. We're going to fold the 6-4. Like I said... There's a hand going on the other table here, so let me drag this in so we can watch it. Vitel against Vasic. Get a bet and call. 13,000 in the middle. All right. Lead for 5,600 and a fold. Takes it down. On to the next one. On to the next one. Blinds going up to 800, 1,600. Now it's sort of getting relevant, the in-the-money situations. I don't think we're going to be putting it in here um, if we see a raise before us. If it folds to us, though, we will shove here blind versus blind. I think this is going to be a fold because of our position in the tournament with one of these two players very likely to bust the next couple hands. It's very close against Heart Rob. It opens to 33.88. And I think we should probably shove against this guy, especially considering what they did last time. 25.20 is fairly aggressive. King Queen is fairly strong, so it's not a fun feeling uh, putting this in on the button. But I think King Queen is too strong to fold, so we will shove here. Hope for a fold. And we do get a fold. Pick it up, up to twenty four thousand five hundred. Okay, let's check out the hand on the other table. We see an open and a shove here out of the big blind. Milf Island folds. All right, on to the next one. Queen 9 on the button. This is going to be a fold here. 12 of 16. Man, I think it's time for a blanket hype, by the way. I think we got we to gotta roll with a blanket. The feet are getting cold again. It feels like uh, 10 a.m. Jamie, all the tourneys at this hour softer? Absolutely. Saturday night is the softest time on the schedule by far. By far. The thing is you can't get as much volume in. There isn't as much selection at this time. Um, the fields are a lot smaller. This is like the biggest tournament you'll find at this time all week, this one. 215 Pacific Rim. But uh, the tournaments are very, very soft. Thank you, Troga. Thank you. Maybe we're going to do Prague forever? I don't think so. I'm going to go for three months at first, um, but maybe I'll really like it and I'll want to live there. Who knows? I plan to um, to move to different spots, though, try out different situations. Got home from a club and did an after party because I wanted to watch poker. Am I a loser? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I don't think it's in the contract to, to have to after party at all stages. 18000 in the turn. King seven, queen jack takes it down. Skill poker really chipping up here, and we have pocket eights. Pocket eights, you guys, with 15 big blinds. This is interesting. All right. 
And we see an open from skill poker. I think I'm just going to call given the situation we're in, where we are, people are five big minds from getting into the money. There isn't much difference between 15th and like ninth here either. There's a total of $120 in those six spots. So I think it is sort of relevant to try and get into the money. And we'll call, play it pretty straightforward. You have a feel for the time zones and the demographic of most of your stream viewers? Yep. We do have uh, demographic information for like where the unique views come from on Twitch, which is still US heavy, uh, mostly in the US. Uh, the UK is actually the second country. So it goes US, UK, Canada, and then something else. That's a set, Dottie. Let's go. Ace, 10, 8. We're probably going to see a bet here from Skill Boker, and I think I'm just going to call. You still incorporate the same big role management during a downswing when you make side money. It's a little bit different, the real L. It's a little bit different now, my system, than it was before. So we call, take it to the turn, which is a very safe five of spades. Action on skill poker. Who checks? I think we just shove here with our eight. S eights. Get the vomus out and check. Come on, skill poker, call us. Call us. We get a fold. Okay, we pick it up though. 35,000. Back to a pretty good position right now. Eighth of 16. That's solid. Nice chip up considering the stage of the tournament we're in. We shouldn't really be chipping up at this stage, but it's worked out very well for us. Uh, and we're going to fold here to the shove. Still on the bubble. What's up, Mark? How you doing, man? We are live, Randall. We are live right now. Action on always win. Who folds? Easy Knots is in the short stack situation right now from the United Kingdom. Easy Knots. Germany. Here, Germany. Argentina. Brazil. Canada. Venezuela. Australia. A lot of Pacific Rim here, but there is some Germany and UK. You're not tired, Jamie? No, I took a, a nap for four hours, so I'm not tired, actually. I'll be tired tomorrow is the thing. Uh, so I'll have to figure out how to, how to fix that. I may have to skip a couple tournaments in the package. Please, no bubble. I'm sorry. Whew! Vamos. Okay. Loving the strong plays in the bubble, Jamie. Feeling the run good. I'm calling it now. You are winning it all. Thank you, Major Stacking. I do my very best. Hand for hand, still in play, still 8 of 16 right now. But I'm hoping that we can turn this into a victory. Thank you, Grandzard. Always win on the button here. I expect him to open, them to open a lot. We do see a raise, action on skill poker, who's doing very well thus far. Always win takes it down. That's it for part two of the $215 Pacific Rim. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys for part three.